A portion of this episode is sponsored by Frozen. Stick around, you're gonna wanna see this. This is Patrick from Hasbro. Hey, yeah. Patrick. Nice to meet you, Joel. How nice are to you? meet you. I'm great because, because yep. I get scanned and I get my own action figure. Yes, you do. All right. Okay, take me through what the selfie series is. All right, so if you go back in time a little bit, right? Celebrities would come into Hasbro, right? We would make them a one-off custom figure. Right? One-off, one highly off. expensive. Highly expensive, right? And we were always like, why can we not bring that to the masses so that everybody could enjoy a personalized figure, right? Right. So two things had to happen. One of them is with two techs had to come together. One of them is the scanning piece of it. We had to put that in the hands of the consumer. So we wanted to develop something that can go in iOS or Android. The second piece is we wanted really nice, highly detailed pieces so that when you collect your action figure, you put it up on a shelf, it matches in with all your other figures. Ah, so right? cool. Right. So we partnered with Form Labs to create the resins. We're using their technology to produce all the figures in this really nice state-of-the-art facility that we set up that is our little mini production lab. This so is exciting. really incredible. Right? I love pop culture, and these yeah. are all showcasing things in movie properties or television properties that yep. I adore. We took all of our licensed and pro internal property brands and we said, you know what, let's pick some of those iconic figures, and that's a great way to launch. So we have 14 figures to start with. 14? 14 figures, right across Star Wars, Marvel, G.I. Joe, Power Rangers, Ghostbusters. I kind of want to be a Stormtrooper. Yep. So iconic. Is that cool? It's so cool. It's iconic. It it's is. iconic. So what's the process? I see there's different heads, different hairstyles. Yep. And we have the different bodies, so then... Are the hairstyles a part of the scan or are those assets you already have? Right, so as you go through the scanning process, we're gonna scan your face, right? And it's gonna pick up all the architecture on your face. It's gonna project that onto a head buck that we've developed, okay? That oh, true okay. mesh of your face, right? We've subtracted off the art file at that point. We hold the art file kind of off to the side. We'll use that in a little bit. And what happens is as you go through the process, you're gonna pick a hairstyle. That way you get a really nice clean color break. You have a choice of being yourself or something that's closer to the talent or the actor in that role. Once you pick that hairstyle, you pick the hair color, any facial hair that you want. We have 50 different hairstyles. This is very similar to some of those video games that allow you to create your character. Very similar, yeah. This is, this is really that, but in real yep. life. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so then you hit submit. You go, okay, I picked the character. I know who I want to be. You hit submit. Your order goes into sort of like a holding pattern, a little bit of a cue, say. And so what happens next is as other orders come in that match your same skin tone, that platform is loaded up, and all of a sudden we hit print, and it prints all 24 people at the same time. That's so cool. If I want to be a stormtrooper then, yep. that's my chosen body. Yep. And the architecture of my face, you said, will be put onto the already the, the face that you already have, my, yep. my yep. actual yep. features. And then I pick a hairstyle. Yep. But there's a scanning part of it, right? Okay. So basically what we're gonna do is you pick a hairstyle, that'll go off into a different build. I right? understand. Once we have your, your head grown, we're gonna take that, we're gonna put it into a color printer where you be printing your deco on top of your face. Oh, I see. So okay. it's your art file actually coming back. I told you before, we were kind of holding that yeah, off to the side. Yeah. We pull that back in, we put your deco back on. Cool. Then well, we assemble the hair, we put it on a body, ship it to your house in 45 days. How cool is that? That's really cool. Okay, Patrick, what are the next steps? I, I, right. I really want to do this. All right, next steps, let's get you set up to scan. Okay, let's do it. All right. I am now here with Tyler, and Tyler's gonna lead me through scanning my face. All right, so yeah, let's get your action figure started. First thing you want to do is download Hasbro Pulse. Then okay. from there, we're gonna use the app, open selfie series, and now we're in the scanning window. Oh, I see that. So, as you'll see, there's a, a bubble that you can put your head in. You want to put your head inside and make the ring turn blue. We want a good spot with lighting too. So luckily the lighting here is actually oh. pretty good. You can see there aren't a ton of cast shadows on my face or anything like that. When you do it at home, we recommend you stand against a window so you get that natural Oh, a nice diffuse light. light. Yeah, you want to avoid hard Makes shadows. Sense. Don't stand in the closet, things like that. Okay. You want to hold it up level with your face. You'll notice the ring turned blue. That means I'm ready to scan. And then you do the scan. I'm gonna hit scan, it's gonna count me down, and it will say three, two, one, turn left. So you wanna turn about this speed, gently over your shoulder, look all the way, come back to the middle, and then look over your right shoulder. Got it, okay. And then back to the center, and that will capture it for you. Okay. Now come back to the middle, and go right, all the way over your right shoulder, 
and then back to the center. Perfect, you're captured. Oh, that's it. That's it. Look at so that. Quick and easy, now it's gonna render. That's what I look like in the Matrix. The Matrix is everywhere. So first thing, it will give you the preview before you pick the character or hairstyle. You okay. can see what your face looks like in the render. All right, That's me. Cool. So that looks like you. Since we're in good lighting condition, it looks like the skin tone is perfect. It so does, I yeah. You need to adjust that up or down. I don't think so. so. You can hit next. Okay. Now pick the brand or character you're looking for. Uh, Star Wars is where I'm at. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I was thinking Stormtrooper, but... Oh, cool. okay, that's it. That's it right there. Oh, now that's we gotta great. pick the hair. So now you can pick hair color and hairstyle. What do you think, is that is that about accurate? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Do you think that looks good? You can also rotate the head side to side to see it from an angle. Oh, I see. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of tussled a little bit. It's not really, I don't have much of a, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just, that's it's like, lazy, right? Yep, that's like a five o'clock shadow. All right, I'm gonna do that one. That's nice. Okay, right. that's nice, yeah. And there you go, you've made your figure. Wow, I am amazing. Oh my gosh. It looks great. All right, so, so we'll then go ahead and we'll order that. Order it up. And then from here, it will show up at your doorstep 45 days later. Just like that? Just like that. Hot diggity. So these are some of our form labs friends that are here today, actually. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these. You can see the quality. These are 3D printed heads. You can't even see that there's build lines in them. That's amazing. Okay, so here, I'll change you that one. And the Power Ranger, look at that. That's cool. There you go. That's so cool. I love this, man. Bring it this in. Is awesome. Oh, Thanks, I can't wait. Next time you see me, I'll have my own action figure. Yes. Four to six weeks later. And just like that, it's here. This is the package from Hasbro that should contain my selfie series figure, where I scanned my face with the phone using their application, and I put in some information in a computer, and then magic elves in the background took care of processing ones and zeros, which resulted in this box from Hasbro finding its way to my house. Now, to be fair to you, I have not opened this, and I wanted to experience this for the first time along with you. I wanna make sure that I take it out and selfie series, looks like this is the back. Okay, okay, we're safe. Bye bye. As you can see, Hasbro selfie series. It started with a selfie. Now when you look inside this box, you'll find a customized one of a kind action figure of yourself. Oh, pins and needles, everybody. This is my selfie series action figure from Hasbro at the Form Labs booth at CES in Las Vegas, Nevada. And slowly do this reveal. This is the Frozen Sonic Mini 8K, and with a 7.1 inch 8K LCD, its ability to reproduce details in models is nearly unparalleled within the consumer space. Just check out this Xenomorph from Photos Mint that I printed on this machine. Printing was a dream, supports nearly fell off, and the detail in the final model is staggering. If you wanna get one for yourself, it's $6.99 at time of filming. Big thanks to Frozen for sponsoring this part of the show, and now, right back to it. Okay, it's off. There it is. There it is. What is it? Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Do I? Does it look okay? Star Wars The Mandalorian. I am a Mandalorian. Let's take a look. Oh, why didn't you tell me there's bubble wrap here? <sighs> Sorry. Okay, here we go. I am a Mandalorian. Oh. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, now they say that it retains its value when you keep toys in their boxes, but toys deserve to be played with. So we're taking this right out of the box because I need to see this up close. The packaging is top notch. There I am. I am a Mandalorian. Oh, and it comes with accoutrement. It comes with stuff. Oh, that's right, the Mandalorian does have his rifle. And a pistol, and a jet backpack, and a cape. This is a legit action figure right here. 
Oh man, what am I doing? I'm a 3D printer. I've got, I've got snips. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> Look at that. That is majestic. <sighs> Let's put that on you. It's got the chubbiness in my cheeks. And I did have to pick a hairstyle, remember? And I got to pick facial hair because I do have a lazy beard. I find this interesting. I will be the first one to tell you that it sort of looks like me. Sort of looks like me. I mean, let's be honest, it's, it's not a high detailed scan of my face and my hair and my features. This was a scan done via my mobile device or someone else's mobile device incredibly quickly at a trade show booth and then Magix was applied afterwards. And so I'm not gonna condemn this because while it doesn't look exactly like me, I think that this shows promise. And if we think about it in terms of video game systems, 3D scanning and the results from 3D scanning in an automated way might be best represented as being in the timeline of like ColecoVision or Atari 2600. It's, it's something that we're, we're just sort of kind of biting into it. Like, I like this. I like this. And, and I do think it's neat. But other scanning methods are going to give you much higher density scans and, and, and much better results. If you think about it, it was done really quickly to trade show using a mobile device. And if that doesn't scream high tech, I don't know what does. But now take this a couple years into the future. Three, two, one, go. You've got the ability to do higher density scans and higher detailed scans with mobile devices or perhaps at trade shows, they do have different scanning devices available. And then what if we apply the technologies that Stratasys has or that Mimaki has to create those incredibly lifelike prints? I don't think we're far away from doing that. It's, it's coming up really fast. And so I like this. It's not my favorite. It's not the thing that looks most like me. I've had photogrammetry done where I have, you know, dozens of cameras around me and I've, I, I've done scanning things before that produce a higher density scan. And so uh, I think this is exactly what it should be at this time. And I think as we move forward into the future, it's just going to get better with different scanning technologies, the ability to grab more detail at once and the ability to reproduce the detail seen using different 3D printing methods. Plus, I mean, come on, I'm a Mandalorian, but legit, there's a reason as a Mando, I shouldn't be taking off my helmet. This is the way. Well, there we go. This is the, uh, the Hasbro look at the selfie series. I find it to be inspiring and a look towards the future. I, I love that this is but a taste of what's to come and I'm excited to try it again, perhaps next year when technology has advanced a little bit and perhaps little Mando Joel next year might be a better Mando Joel. I don't know. Hope you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, take more selfies. And as always, high five.